Good evening. Just about to start yin yoga. So welcome to practice. Maple is here to help us tonight. And grab whatever props you need. If you need a bolster, a couple blocks, if you have a cup of tea or water, you can have that close by. And if you like to put on a little bit of quiet, ambient music, you can. I'm doing the live streams now uh, with no music. So if you have a little Spotify on the side, you can play it from your phone or your computer, depending on what you're watching this practice on. So we're gonna begin seated tonight. And I would like you to sit cross-legged if you can. And I'm gonna elevate my tail and sit upon my bolster. So if you like, you can sit on a meditation cushion or even a block is really the perfect width to allow your legs to release. So the reason we elevate is so that our knees can soften and our hips can open. So if you're sitting on the ground and your knees are pointing to the sky and there's some straining, release the knees, rise the bum, and feel sukhasana, sukhasana. Sukha means easeful, right? Asana is the posture. So come into your easy posture. Take some big deep breaths. I invite you to breathe in fully through the nose. And breathe out fully through the mouth. Do three more like that. Inhale. Breathing in prana. Breathing in this moment for your practice. And as you exhale, breathing out any stresses any worries, anything that you may have accumulated today. Last one, you can allow for an audible exhale if that feels good. Making sound as you exhale, sighing, screaming, whatever you want, you're probably at home, so do it. Uh, And just allow the breath to go into a natural rhythm. Eyes closed down. We reach through the crown of the head. We soften the hands with the palms to the sky. They're resting just atop the legs. And see if you can just sit in this meditative seat and breathe. Let the tongue relax, let the eyes relax. And just be quiet and still and let your whole body rest. And then next, inhale, bring your chin to the sky and roll the head to the left, left ear towards left shoulder and then all the way around to the right. Take a couple full circles. And we breathe, we allow the breath to breathe the whole body without forcing. Through this yin practice tonight, I invite you to become even softer, feminine, and settle into the asanas. We don't push, we don't force, we're not looking for an end goal. We're just observing and feeling into those soft parts of the body. Last circle in this direction, just enjoy it. Feel the skin, feel the jaw, Feel every sensation that arrives tonight. When your chin comes back to the chest, keep it down. Lift your sternum so there's opposition. Chest is lifting, chin is descending. And then the arms sweep wide and up. 
Interlace the fingers behind the head and allow the palms to rest on the back of the skull. As we invite the weight of the arms to stretch the neck, we're not pulling, we lift through the sternum more. So simultaneously we lower and we lift for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Sigh it out if it feels good, allowing any audibility. And as you inhale, keep the hands on the back of the skull. Start to open up taking the elbows wide, taking the chin to the sky, so we end up in a back bend. There's a squeeze of the scapula along the spine and a big opening through the chest, the pectoral, major and minor, the sternum where all the ribs meet, and those hands are supporting your head for two more breaths. Breathe horizontal, breathe across the ribs and the chest and the lungs. Ah. Release, letting those hands come down to the knees. Beautiful, slide off of your sits seat. If you have a prop under your butt, slide it out. Begin to open your legs wide. Take them as wide as they'll go. And then start to shake your feet. So just wiggle the feet a little bit, bringing in softness to the feet. Yep. And then when those feet are nice and soft, start to bow forward. You can use your prop. You can use your dog for your prop. And just begin to lay down. Do your best to soften your spine so we're not staying erect and long like a traditional yoga practice. We're actually becoming still and becoming soft. Take the breath into the pelvis. Take the breath into the space where the legs meet the body. And a breathe into your pelvis, breathe into your perineum, breathing down into the mula band, the muladhara chakra, the root chakra. And if you are a visual person, you can visualize red light, red or crimson, or even a wine color at the base of the spine, where you feel the stretch. And as you breathe into that space, that color amplifies. The breath expands that area and charges it up. And as you exhale, that color goes deep. It concentrates and it solidifies into the body. Long breaths, long holds, softening all parts of your body. Feel the jaw relax. Feel the back of your eyes and your face. There should be no expression on the face. Five more deep breaths to the middle, using the exhale to soften more and possibly breathing past the point where we believe that we can exhale. So it becomes a super emphasized, elongated exhale. <sighs> And slowly walk your hands to the right. 
Begin to bow towards the right leg. Let your forehead come towards the right leg and keep the toes turned off. Long, deep breathing. Long, deep breathing. Soften three more breaths, just leaning to the right leg. You can have a little bit of an open chest, or you can play with laying the flat body towards the right leg. See what feels better. Come into a spot where you can hold and be still. Two more deep breaths. On the right side, soften the right side of the abdomen. Soften the liver, soften the right hip. <sighs> Next inhale, slowly bring it over to the left leg. We stay low and we just melt. Let your spine round, let your whole body go. And it doesn't have to be amazing and look pretty, just soften. So maybe the chest is rising a little. Maybe you can lay completely flat over your left leg. But just soften. Soften your feet. Soften your breath. Soften your whole body. Three more breaths to the left side, softening our stomach. Softening the part of digestion that helps us to fully eliminate. And very slowly begin to calm up. Taking your time, so as we move out of these postures, this is when we feel the effects, is when we move slowly. Hands come behind the knees, and begin to bring the right foot towards midline, and then bring the left foot towards midline, so that the feet begin to meet in the middle. And slide your feet away from your body, so as much space as you can make with keeping the knees bent. And then as you're ready, begin to bow forward. You can place your bolster or blocks on your feet, or you can just let your body descend. Some nights in yin, I like to use all the props and feel supported. Some nights I like to allow gravity to really do the work and just feel that kind of floating in space, right? Because I'm not all the way down, but gravity allows me to deepen each time I exhale. Soften your hands, soften your shoulders. We're not reaching because that is an activating pose. We're softening through the joints. And as we exhale, that's where we find a little more openness. Soften your throat if there's any compression in that front line, the frontal plane of your body. Relax it and just soften into it. Breathe into the compression. Let it be a part of the practice. Two more deep breaths in this posture. Soften deeply. Exhale through the mouth. And use your inhale to slowly rise up. 
Taking those legs straight out in front. Let them be as wide as your hips. And slide your bolster behind you in a horizontal form. So a lot of times we do it running parallel to the spine. Tonight, take it horizontal. So the handles are to the sides. If you don't have a bolster, you can use bed pillows or you can also use your blocks. And we'll just begin to lie back. So you want your butt to remain on the ground. You want your legs to remain on the ground. And as you lie back, see if your head is okay just dangling. It might touch the earth. Or you can place a block underneath your head so that it's supported. And then begin to open your arms wide like a bird. So you want the arms in line with the shoulders, in line with the heart, and the palms point up to the sky. So we open this big, long line from the fingers to the heart center. And the breath flows deeply. Breathe in the heart center. As you exhale, feel the energy expanding through the ribs and through the arms. We have five long breaths here. Last two breaths. Breathe fully. Allow for audible exhale if it feels good. Just exhaling completely. So you clear your day. You clear your chest. You clear the heart chakra. Ah. And when you're ready to come up, flip your palms towards the ground. Begin to lift your head slowly, coming all the way up. Legs cross, and we start to come forward into tabletop. Move slow, remember, keeping all of that beautiful meditative quality in this posture, come to tabletop. Inhale, lift your head and your tail. Exhale, round the spine into cat. Inhale, lift the head and the tail. Exhale, round. Press the palms the shins and the tops of the feet into the ground for a couple more, just oscillating the spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Last two. And exhale through the mouth. Ha. Shift your weight back to your heels. Grab your bolster and bring it in front of you in a long way. So just how we had it behind us, it's running horizontal to our body. And begin to lay forward onto it so that your pelvis, the bony part of your pelvis where it meets together at the pubis, is on the bolster. You want your knees, depending on the length of your body, on the bolster. And you might have to walk the legs back so that you feel your hip flexors open and press into the bolster. Again, you can use uh, blankets or just a pillow from your couch. And then begin to lie down, stacking your hands, allowing your forehead to rest on your hands. Feel the low back open. This brings a lot of compression into the digestion. But it's nice, it brings everything into self, sort of like orthobionomy, where you take something that may be 
trauma or overused or overworked and you bring it into itself so it can reconfigure and begin to heal so that when we release this posture, you get fresh fluids to the internal organs. Long deep breaths. Keep softening the shoulders, keep softening the internal organs and the pelvis. The exhale will allow this deep softening. Five more breaths. Feel the legs heavy, feel the chest heavy, feel the head heavy. And use your inhale to start to push up slow. Start to shift your weight back towards child's pose. And I invite you to turn the bolster so that it's running lengthwise to your spine in the same direction as your spine and then begin to bow forward. Melting down, the knees are wide, the sits bones are heavy towards your bum. If you have a sandbag at home, that's always nice to lay on your low back. It adds a little extra weight. Or if you have a partner, you can ask them to lightly sit on your low back and then just settle into the support and really let your head rest. I like to turn my head to one direction. Soften the arms. You can even turn the palms up to the sky or you can tuck the arms underneath the bolster, which will add a little compression to those arms, to the extensors and the flexors of the forearm. So settle in, breathe a lot. Fully relax your spine, fully relax your hips, fully relax into Balasana. This is child's pose, a beautiful posture to allow a grounding sensation, to allow a sensation of becoming childlike again, right? Just being comfortable in our bodies, in the world. Take five more breaths, become extra soft. If your head is turned to one direction, pick it up and turn it to the opposite direction so that we find balance. Let your belly relax. If any sounds need to be released or any wind needs to be released, make sure to allow that. Mm. Last breath. Inhale, coming up. Ooh, someone is not into yin tonight. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> coming up, so you're seated on your heels and bring your chin all the way to the sky. Extend through the throat, extend through the heart. Take a big breath and exhale. Open your mouth, stretch your jaw. Ah. Bring your chin to your chest. 
around your back. Sweep your arms to the sky and take that right hand down to the right, lean to the right, big opening side. Inhale to center. Take the left hand down, lean to the left. One more to each side. We come all the way to the right. Let it be fluid like water. And take it to the left. And release. Begin to come to lying on your back. You can have your pillow or bolster close by. But just lie flat with no support under you. Take a moment feeling your whole back body connecting to the ground. Bring your arms up overhead. Slide both legs to the left and then place that right leg on top of the left. So you're actually crossing at the ankles. Right legs on top, legs are slid to the left. Take the left hand and grab anywhere along the right forearm or the right wrist and walk the arms over to the left. So all the limbs are pointing to the left. We're extending a lot through the right side, allowing the ribs, the digestion, and the space between the lower and the upper hemisphere of our bodies to expand. Take five breaths. If you're forcing or this feels at all straining, soften into it. Find the posture and invite sukha, easefulness. Bring the awareness to the right side of your body and let the breath channel. Three more breaths. Last breath, exhale through the mouth. Oh. Release the hold on the arms. Take those elbows wide into cactus arms. So the elbows are in line with the shoulders and the palms point to the sky. Uncross the legs and bring the legs to center and just let them be wide and take an observation of the right and the left side of your body. Take three belly breaths, sending the abdomen to the sky as you breathe, feeling the elastins in the stomach. You have the most elastins in the stomach, obviously, can be good and bad. <laughs> good for breathing, bad for gaining weight. And as you're ready, start to bring your arms up overhead. Walk both legs over to the right as much as you can. Pick up the left leg and place it on top of the right leg and really slide those legs to the right. And the right arm grabs for the left arm. You can take the wrist and squeeze like compression. You can also take the forearm and start to pull both arms to the right. So now the left side of the body begins to open. Check any muscular straining, check any overexertion and settle in and begin to breathe the lateral left side. Five long breaths.
Let the exhale stretch the space between the hip and the low ribs. Last big breath. Release the arms first, then the legs. Slide the legs wide. Bring the elbows into bent and bring the elbows wide. Three breaths, wiggle your fingers, oh, sigh it out. Begin to bring your knees towards your chest, grabbing for the knees and pulling them into the chest. You can grab just below the kneecaps. You can grab behind the legs, whatever is comfortable, but just invite the legs into the body. We have three breaths, squeeze them in. Begin to circle your ankles, clearing that joint. Taking the feet into the hands, grabbing either big toes or lateral edges of your feet for happy baby. Pull your knees wide. Pull those knees towards the ground. Breathe into the pelvis. Breathe into the low back. Two more breaths. <sighs> Keep hold of the feet. Bring the feet towards one another, like you're bringing the soles of the feet to touch, and then pull the hands, pull the feet towards the body. You can bring your head up to try to touch the forehead to your big toes. Option to wiggle a little bit, really expanding and pressing into those kidneys. <sighs> Rulers of the waters of the body. Last breath. And slowly release those feet. Take the feet to the mat, letting them be wide as your hips, letting your arms go wider than your body, and just windshield wiper the knees back and forth, right to left. Roll out your sacrum. Two more breaths as we roll. We go one side of the breath to the other side of the breath. And if you like, you can take that bolster and bring it underneath your knees so that when you extend your legs, your legs become supported. If you are having low back pain, if you have any cramps or you tend to have sciatica, uh, bring your knees to be supported by the bolster. Start to come into a flat posture on your back body. If you want to cover your body with a blanket, you can. If you have an eye pillow or a sandbag, you can place it on your body. Of course, eye pillow on your eyes. Sandbag can go across your abdomen. And find full relaxation. Try to let your body totally relax. Let the mind relax so we're not thinking or planning 
or worrying about anything, we're simply becoming still and quiet. Let the sounds of the gong wash over your body.
back into the body. Feel the breath coming in. Feel the aliveness coming into your body. Through the nose, the prana flows in and up. And as you exhale, the apana flows out and down. Begin to roll onto one side of your body, resting and moving slowly to get there into fetal position. Take three full breaths when you arrive on your side body and allow gratitude to fill your vessel. Gratitude for this practice, gratitude for Wi-Fi to have this connection, gratitude for our fur babies if you have them, gratitude for every beautiful blessing and every beautiful challenge that helps us to grow and understand. And when you feel complete, press back to your easy seated pose, your Sukhasana. Your hips may feel more open, so you can just remain seated with a cross-legged posture on the ground. When you get there, take an inhale to sweep the arms wide and up. Big, fresh breath. Take the hands to prayer, take the hands to your heart, pressing the hands together, pressing the thumbs into the sternum. And let's chant one ohm together to seal our practice. Inhale through the nose, exhale to chant. finish with a bow, humbling and honoring the ancient lineage of this practice of yoga, of awareness. It is my honor to practice with you. Namaste. Mm. Happy Wednesday to you. Thank you for tuning in and doing this practice with me, or if you're doing it in the future, I appreciate you. If you can uh, and have the means, you can send a donation via PayPal or Venmo. The link is on our website, wahecrew.com. And sign up for our mailing list and like our channel. We have an amazing Oaxaca retreat coming up this fall. We have classes and magic happenings all the time. So I sure hope to catch you at one of these lovely events. 
and Maple says, Namaste and Buenas Noches. Ciao.